Hello and welcome to the 2 minute series. The topic for today is population growth and carrying capacity. Again, two very very important terms. Now, first and foremost, population growth is the increase in the population size over a period of time. So, what is the difference between biotech potential which we discussed in the previous slide and population growth is what you should know. In biotic potential, what happens is that the increase in population is due to reproduction or multiplication of an organism. Whereas in population growth, the increase can be due to various reasons. It could be due to reproduction, due to natality, which is the birth rate. It could be due to immigration of individuals also. It could be due to a decrease in the rate of emigration that is moving out of individuals. It could be due to a decrease in the death rate also. So population growth takes place because of many reasons. Biotic potential is one of those. So that is something that you should know. Now here you need to know something about the population growth forms. Now there are two curves which represent population growth. One is a J-shaped population growth and the second is the S-shaped population growth. Now in a J-shaped population growth what happens is that there is a sudden increase in the population. For instance of some insects might increase suddenly in number due to some particular season. For instance in rainy season some insects might suddenly increase in number and then they reach a peak and then they suddenly crush. So this is what represents a J-shaped curve of population growth. The second type is the S-shaped curve. In this what happens is that the number rises first and then it reaches a limit which is known as the carrying capacity. We will be discussing carrying capacity. This also represents the environmental resistance as we had discussed and after this the population becomes a stable. So this is representing an S-shaped curve of population growth. Now by the word carrying capacity what we mean is that this is what is the maximum number of organisms that can sustain indefinitely in a given habitat. Beyond this this the animals will not be able to sustain themselves because environmental resistance will be such. So this is one limit where environmental factors are such that this one constant population is what can be maintained or the standing stock is what can be maintained and this is what is known as the carrying capacity. For every habitat the carrying capacity is what is different. So this is another thing which you should know and that's about population growth and carrying capacity and that's about our discussion today. I thank you all for watching the video.